Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today we're going to be um, working on Doc McStuffins in Design Space. And she is so, so cute. But I do have some tips for this file because I'm going to show you some of the things that drove me insane on this project. So give me one second. That's the reason why my picture is much bigger today because I want to show you or oh, should... I want to show you what she looks like. She's so, so cute. Um, this little stethoscope, it's super cute because it has um, a wobble underneath. So it, you know, kind of like, um, like it has a spring. So it does that. And then this one over here spins. Now what you might not be able to see on the screen because it is a little small is um, these little, de the details in her pants drove me absolutely insane as well as the stripes on her sweater so we're going to talk about that um i wanted to do this particular image because i wanted to showcase the cardstock that i'm that i'm curating so you can see like the um a wide range of the skin color collection from her hair her mouth her face and then also in the band-aid which is really hard to see um but there's three shades within the band-aid so um that is why we did this one. This one's purely for myself and it drove me insane. So here is the Etsy file that I bought. Um, and let's talk about, I'm gonna make it really big so you can see, okay, good. You can still see, oops, and hold on, let me, okay. Um, so what drove me insane is look at this file, look at her neckline. So let me see if I can make it even bigger. That neckline, each one of those pieces is a separate piece uh, which I'll show you, I, did, I ended up welding them all together, so the neckline was one piece. But look at the sweater and all the pink, and I'm, I'm sorry, not pink, purple and white pieces in her sweater. Those are individual pieces. So I, and then look at the bottom of her sweater. Each one of those pieces is its own separate piece. I didn't even have to deal with the neckline and the bottom that trim at the bottom, and this thing still drove me crazy. Um, let's look down here, like the pants. Those little circles did not cut out well. Uh, look at her shoes. All those are individual pieces, so I'm gonna show you the shoes and the sweaters I ended up welding, as well as some of the pieces in her lab coat. And you needed to do that because trust me, even after doing that, I wanted to stop this project. <laughs> All right, so let me, let's me let go into design space so I can show you what it looks like. So the nice thing about this file is everything broke out into these individual pieces and you just had to ungroup it and, and it was fine. So let me show you, let's zoom in and I'll show you how to do these things, um, but I really want to talk at the beginning just uh, about some of these pieces, okay? So I'm going to show you her shoe. If you remember her shoe, the these are in three separate pieces of just this part, right? So what I did was I added a piece right here and welded everything together. So it was one piece and um, we didn't lose any detail because you still had the little slim lines like the cuts um let's see what else here let's look at the sweater real quickly so where are where's the purple oh i did the same thing with the purse the purse was in multiple pieces i welded it together sorry it just moved on me um let's look at this sweater so you see i added a thin line right here so that all the pieces were um, welded together otherwise that would have been like i don't know how many pieces is that like 12 pieces um same thing with this neckline those were individual pieces same thing with the cuffs um i welded it where i could just so that i didn't have to deal with all of that let's zoom back out so i can show you um what else did we weld we welded the purse and the shoe all right so let's start from the beginning and i'll show you what that looks like let's go to a new canvas because this is looking really really messy right um i did her at 30 inches i don't recommend doing it any smaller because those individual pieces will be even smaller to deal with so i did like it at 30 inches i would even do it bigger but i think the problem that we ran into was her face so i wanted the face to be one piece of cardstock 
So let's add that to the canvas. The other thing that I did was I switched out what was on her stethoscope as well as her bag. So I'm gonna show you that in a second. Well, I'll show you that towards the end. This is a long, and it takes a while to load because each one of these pieces are individual. You'll see it's loading. So your right hand side panel, and I'm gonna make myself smaller at this point because you don't need to see me as much. Oops, not that way, this way. There we go. All right, let's move her over. Um, she comes in at 24 inches, so just go to height and type in 30. And then we're basically going to ungroup everything. Okay, so let's make this a little bit smaller so that you can kind of see everything. So this is in the lower right hand corner. I'm reducing it to 25% so that we don't have to scroll as much. Okay, so there she is. Um, and everything breaks out. So you can see all these pieces here. Now, what I did was I used, so let's scroll down for a minute. Let me move myself over so you can actually see the whole thing over here. Okay, um, I actually deleted all these black pieces because instead of having the black sit on top of all the colors, I had the back, the black, be actually the black background. So all of this we can delete. So I'm gonna grab all this stuff here. Oh, hold on, let me see if I can just grab this whole, I think I can. So if you select this, Yep, you could just delete it. So I'm gonna click delete. We got rid of all the black, but you see the black is still showing. It's because the black is coming through from the back. Um, if you wanted those black pieces, like if you wanted to make her eyes like pop out, it would be weird, <laughs> but I'm just giving you an example. Then you would keep some of those black pieces. But for me, we use black glitter cardstock in the back and it just, you know, it, um, showed through and it was fine. So now let's, so now all these white pieces, um, all these pieces you're gonna want. So you can see it's a lot of pieces that are being cut. So I'm not gonna show you, let's see. All these white pieces are actually pretty big. Let's zoom in and talk about what we did um, other than ungroup, what did we, what did I fix in order to make this more manageable? Ooh. Okay, um, these little pink pieces, I added little circles because I just didn't wanna deal with those little pieces. I don't know why this part right here is white. So what I did was um, I went and found the pieces later and I changed them to brown to match her other hair. I felt like it shouldn't have been that color, but you can easily fix that and make sure that you cut it up with your brown for the hair. Um, the purple right here and the purple here. Now what I did was you can make this as is. Um, I just, for some reason, I used a different SVG and I just put it in there so that I can make the band-aid separate from her. But let's look at Let's start ungrouping some of these colors just so that we can deal with the changes. Okay, so let's look at the white. I'm gonna zoom in on the white. So, okay, so those three pieces right there, let's see, let's move this over a little bit and we'll ungroup the white for now. These three pieces were part of her hair, so we gotta fix that. Not really sure why I did that. Uh, Oh, um, shoot, I think it's this brown. I think it's the darker brown. Okay, so those, that we changed into the hair. Now, you can look at her collar right here. I just got rid of that white piece and it just didn't even make it to my, um, to my board. Um, all of these are pretty big pieces. Yeah, these are all big pieces. This is where I did the, the thing. So let's bring in, um, let's see, can we zoom in anymore? Oh, we can zoom in more. Okay, so now you can really see the shoe. 
The shoe is in three pieces right here and three pieces. So six pieces total for just the bottom part of the shoe. I made it into two. So what you want to do is you want to bring in a circle and we're going to make it really small. And in fact, I'm going to make it thin as well. So I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to make it more into an oval. Okay. And let's see if that's going to fit over here. So that looks pretty good to me. I think I can move it over a little bit. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna duplicate this for the other shoe, right? So I hit Control C, Control V. So Control Copy, Control Paste. No, Copy, Paste, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna move that over here. On this one, I'm gonna grab my three stripes as well as my oval, and I'm gonna weld it. So now my shoe becomes at least this white part, it's one. So there's like a little bit of a ridge there, no one's gonna notice. So you can make it cleaner if you wanted to, but to me, is there a difference between this and this? I don't think anyone would argue with you that this should have been three separate pieces. So over here, we're gonna put this, um, oh, you can't see it. So I'm gonna put it over here and same thing, I'm gonna grab these pieces and I'm gonna weld it. So we went from six to two on the shoe and that looks pretty good to me. All right, let's zoom out and let's look at the purple, okay? Um, so for the purple, let's see if we can get that out. Oh, here's the pink. For the pink, let's scroll down a little bit into a cleaner area. You see for the pink, I would do the same thing here. I would bring in a bunch of circles. Um, so let's just do it so that you can see it. Okay, so we're gonna ungroup this first because we don't want to weld all the pink pieces together, right? We just wanna deal with this top part right here. So let's make this much smaller. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so you can really see this. Okay, so this little guy, we can make him small and we can attach it here and then control copy, or copy and paste, control C and control V. I would do it like, you can do it like that. You can make these bigger if you wanted to make the circle bigger, I mean, if you wanted to keep the shape. It's up to you, but you can see, then you can grab all of this. Um, oh, hold on, it's still, let's ungroup it first. I could tell that it was still grabbing more things because my rectangle, but the square of things um, was really big. So see here, I can weld it. And now instead of five pieces, I'm down to three. You could weld these pieces as well if you wanted to, okay? Um, let's go out and see what else we have here. Let's look at this purse. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Everywhere that we can weld and make it a little bit easier for ourselves, we should. So let's look at this purse. And same thing with the shoe, I welded that together as well. So the shoe, instead of this shoe being one, two, five pieces, it was one big pink piece, same thing over here. So the shoes, if you think about it, this is five pieces, three pieces for the white, um, eight pieces comes down to two pieces. It's so much more manageable. Um, but I will show you how to do that after we do the purse. <laughs> so the purse right now, I would wanna weld this strap, add a little piece right here. So it's still open, it still has the details, but it'll just be welded right here to the rest of the purse. And then this little guy, I think I welded it right here, and all of a sudden your purse is one piece instead of three pieces. And trust me on this, even even after welding all these pieces, I told you, it was insane the amount of pieces that I had. Um, 
And that was partially why when you watch the video of me piecing it together, normally I would have all the pieces um, already put together, like all the cut pieces. I wouldn't have it glued, but I would have it laid out and I would see what she looks like. She was in so many pieces that I didn't even want to do that prep work. So we kind of did it together um, on the YouTube tutorial. All right, so that's gonna weld that together. I'm gonna grab this and make a copy. And I'm gonna weld this, I'm gonna make a little piece that goes here. So let's move that over here. And let's see. Let's see if we like the way that looks. No, I don't. Um, make it a little bit, whoa. A little bit bigger it's so hard to see I hate um, design space sometimes like those pieces are so hard to to see what you're doing exactly okay so that's not connecting I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger okay so I think I'm okay with that so I'm gonna grab these pieces and weld so now my purse or my medicine bag is one piece and really you won't you wouldn't really i mean we did kind of a sloppy job there <laughs> but um when you look at the whole thing you're not going to notice that because the shoes i mean you don't even know that the shoe is supposed to look like this so um all right so what i did with the shoe is i moved these pieces over so that they're touching so I'm gonna do it on this one and then you can see the difference on this one before we do it. So I'm just moving it to connect it. Easy, and then this one I'll move over a little bit. You can either move over or you can bring in a circle to weld it together. So I'm gonna do this. And you see now this shoe is one piece. And does it look crazy compared to this one? It's the same, right? You wouldn't have known, like this doesn't look more normal than this. So here I'll show you the difference. You can, um, you can keep it where it is and you can add little circles to weld it together. So I'm gonna make this smaller. You could do something like that and make a copy and paste it and make this one even smaller. Okay, so I did those two with that and then these two, I'm gonna move it so you can see the difference. Oops, did it work? Okay, then I'm going to weld all this together. So you can kind of see the difference. So this is a little bumpy, right? Because I didn't make it thin enough. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, it is a very minor detail that you would not you would not have noticed. Okay, so let's zoom out. That's the pink. That's pretty much this whole project is making it a little bit more manageable. So the purple, um, let's move this over. Okay, that's, that's her face or her skin. Let's move this over, here we go. I'll move it over here, move my face again so you can see, okay. And let's zoom in on this so that we can really see what we're doing. This one takes a little bit more work. Let's see, where is my purple? Okay, there you are. All right, you can see there's like a lot of little pieces. Like I lost that piece. I'm pretty sure that piece did not make it. Yeah, this piece didn't make it as well. 
So this has a little bit of a curve. So how I did this, because I didn't want to add a little dot to each one of these squares, um, I did this. So I took this circle and unlocked it and sort of created a similar shape to this. So you see kind of, it kind of matches, right? Then I'm gonna duplicate that oval and I'm gonna put it slightly, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and then I'm gonna put it like right there. So you see how the two ovals, it's creating a thin line. So what I'm gonna then do is I'm going to, over here, grab my ovals. So hit the shift key and grab the second oval and I'm gonna slice it. I want that little thin border that is the difference between the two shapes. So here's my slice results. And this is the piece that I wanted. So you see, like, I'm gonna put this down here. And I could even stretch this out a little bit more there. And you see how it kind of curves with this piece? Now, it is a little bit too long, so we can easily do this. You can slice off, we can slice off at the end. Oops, whoa, what just happened? Let me undo that for a second. Okay, let's grab this. Hold on. Oh, this is still grouped together. So let's grab this, ungroup. ungrouped now yeah, okay it's a little bit ungrouped these two pieces are still together let me see if I can get to that hold on no it didn't ungroup let me ungroup it so this is just an exercise through every color um, you want to weld where you can to make it easier for yourself because this is a lot of pieces of purple. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay, I'm going to bring this up. Kind of match it to there. Okay, then I'm going to grab all of this and weld it. So now instead of the 11 or 12 pieces, it's one piece. It is a little bit long. So now we're gonna bring in this square and we can easily slice off the excess. Grab these two things and slice. So um, this is probably more than you bargained for, <laughs> but these are all good tips, right? Um, to make it easier on yourself. Now, when you cut this and you pull this off the Cricut mat, you can go and just take your scissors and slice that little piece off if you wanted to. Um, or you can make it, you know, you can twist this over, make it parallel to that square so that you get a cleaner cut, like so and grab these two items and slice. So now the bottom of the sweater is so much easier to deal with, right? <laughs> um, so you wanna do that here because they're super close. This, there's nothing that we can do. It, they're big pieces. Um, I told you I lost this piece. I probably lost this piece as well. I would do the same exercise that we did here. Like you can even use this little guy right here. Um, you'd have to flip it and probably, you know, make it much smaller, but you could, you know, weld it right there. All right. So let's go out of this and see where else, where else did I make the changes? I think that was really the bulk of it. The white pieces, I think we welded everything. Yeah, I think everything else is done. I'm gonna show you the back black, the black background because that piece is the only piece that's too big at this point. 
So we're moving all this over. Let's grab our black background and I'm going to move it into a cleaner spot. Okay. Um, so here she is, she's 30 inches. And so obviously we don't have paper that we can cut this on the Cricut, right? So we want to slice her up into pieces that the Cricut can cut. And then when it comes out of the, you know, off the Cricut mat, then we're going to tape it all back together like a puzzle. And so she's going to look gigantic, right? Because your Cricut can't cut this big piece. I mean, look at her face. Her face is bigger than mine. Um, you can't do that all with 12 by 12 cardstock uh, or with, you can do it by 12, with 12 by 12 cardstock, but you have to slice it into pieces that can be cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Um, you know, recently I had a question about, um, can you do this project with eight and a half by 11 paper? Yes, you can use, the, you can do this project with any size paper that you have that the Cricut can cut with, but the smaller you get, which, you know, eight and a half by 11 is smaller than our 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, you're going to have to slice more and there's going to be more seams. So my recommendation with that is either you make your um, character smaller, because in this case, let's go look at the face real quick while we're on this topic, because I, I do want to talk about it. So here is her face. And let's ungroup this thing so we can see exactly how big her face is. So her face is 11.787 by eight inches. So you may think that you can't cut this, but you can. With 11.7, you can rotate it a little bit and it will fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. But on an eight and a half by 11, you're gonna have to slice this up. So you wouldn't wanna do that. I would probably make her smaller or for projects like this, I would if you had it available by the 12 by 12 cardstock. All right, let's go back to the black background. Now, um, I think a lot of you guys are already aware. I have a quick SVG file to for the grid of squares to easily slice up something. So let me go to my upload and bring it in. And while we're doing this, I'll talk a little bit about the SVG file. What's nice about the SVG, having the SVG file, which you can get on my website, it's the uselesscrafter.com, is that you don't have to build this grid of squares every time you do one of these projects. And if you don't want to buy it, you do need to build it because it's one of the steps, one of the many tools that you have to make your project seamless or appear seamless. Um, because you want the squares to butt up next to each other so that there are no gaps and you don't want them to overlap because then you're going to have a hard time putting it together. It's really nice to have the square already done because it just ensures that all the pieces all the corners made up, it's easier to put back together. And like I said, it really does help with the seams. So when you buy it, it will come with both a set of 16 and a set of nine. Most of the time the nine work. So let's add that to the canvas. So you would upload it like any other SVG file. So what you would need to do is it comes in group together. So you will need to ungroup it, but this, these are the steps. It's gonna drop where you are, right? And um, I would just move it. Okay, so we're in a clean spot. I would actually go to the position and make sure that you line it up to whole numbers. So 2.9, I'm going to put in as 3, 62.8. I'm just going to round up to the nearest whole number, 63. So now I know it's on exact points, right? I'm going to ungroup it. Then I'm going to scroll down to get my... Um, to find my black background. And it's so many pieces here. <sighs> or what I could do is, I'm gonna grab this and bring it to the back. Arrange, send to the back. And there's my black background, okay. So I'm gonna grab her and actually bring her to the front. Um, as soon as it catches up to me. Okay, here we go. Arrange, send to the front. Okay, now we wanna make sure that where we're slicing makes sense. Like where it is right now does not make sense because her little tail, like her little pigtail, is gonna be in two pieces and we don't want that. We want big pieces like 
this. So if you look at this, um, we can get rid of these three squares because they don't even come into play. You can see this piece is gonna cut down here and over here. That's gonna give us one big piece there. This pigtail is completely connected to her face, her neck, and her upper body. And then this portion is like her whole leg and the bag. So you can see these are gonna be through a six nice big pieces. So we're gonna start slicing. When you slice, you can only slice two things at one time. So it's gonna be one square and the image at a time. So I'm gonna take my mouse and go over here and make sure that I'm only grabbing one square and the image. This is enough, actually this is enough to, to grab those two items, see? Then I'm gonna slice. If you try to slice something and you go to look at slice down here and it's grayed out like it is right now, then 99.9% .9 is user error. You either only grabbed one item or you grabbed more than two. So just check. All right, I'm gonna grab these two items and slice. And then these two items and slice. And then I'm gonna go to the corner up here and I'm gonna go over here and slice. And then once that's done, I'm gonna grab this bottom corner and it should be our last slice. And we're almost done with our project. Okay, so what I like to do afterwards is I just move it to make sure that all my pieces, you know, sliced properly. And then also I move it so that I know exactly where all the pieces go. Just one less, um, you know, it just makes it easier. Sometimes, I mean, this one, I feel like it's pretty obvious where everything goes, um, but you have so many pieces. It's just one less thing you need to worry about. You can delete all of that and you are ready to go. Uh, let's go to the make it screen so we can see what that looks like. Yeah, it is a big project. <laughs> you are darn right. And I need to recut some of her, the pants area because it looks horrible. <laughs> Although I feel like maybe I should, I should just try to put another character in front of it and not showcase it. Uh, I just hate it. All right, at least one of your images is larger than 11.5. Just click OK, you're good with that. Here are all the white pieces. You can see there are a lot, a lot of pieces. Um, oops, I forgot to delete this. So this is the excess stuff. We're not gonna cut that, just skip over that. Here is the black. And it's possible that this piece could be moved over. I'm gonna try it. So I don't know if you know this, you can click on this piece and click on the three dots and you can move the object. I'm gonna move this one. I think it might fit. Um, I don't know, it might fit here, we'll see. Worst case is we put it back. So I selected that one. Oh there, oh yeah, it does, see? So instead of cutting on a separate sheet of paper, I was able to, um, you know, get this one less sheet. Um, same thing with the browns, like here. I don't know if you know this, but you can move it over like this. You can make it more efficient. Okay, let's look at this. This is her hair, and it's saying it's way too big, right? It's, it's butting up to the 12 inch line. All you need to do is turn this a little bit. Oops, let me move it over there. And see now it's perfectly within a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock as soon as it moves. Now, I do prefer using 12 by 24 mats because it's the best buy when um, the bulk items go on sale on the Cricut website. So I normally would have this. If you didn't have a 12 by 24 mat, just use a 12 by 12 mat. Make sure that your paper, you know, on this case, it doesn't matter because um, this totally fits on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Same thing with this little gal right here. Her face goes right up to that 12 inch line. You can just rotate this a little bit. 
and get it in. Hold on. Now when you're rotating, the only thing is you need to make sure that you realign everything and you that nothing overlaps each other. Like all of this stuff will just be ruined, right? So we can move this over a little bit and then we can make sure that these items, you can even use the inside empty space of the eyes um, to save on um, space, right? You can move all this stuff over. And I mean, that's really it. So you can see it's a lot of items being cut on this. Not my favorite project, but she is pretty stinking cute afterwards. <laughs> All right, let me know what you think, if this made sense, if you have further questions. I am here, just, you know, you gotta post the question though. All right, and any other special projects or anything you wanna see. All right, bye guys, thank you.